how I did it. Honestly, I didn't think that was gonna work. All right, well, anyway. So, once I'm a safe distance up, oh, geez, I did what? <laughs> There's the ladder I just came up. Yes, I do feel pretty stupid. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? All right. So, you know what, as long as I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the cave. So that was the lower level of the cave. Up ahead is the entrance, obviously. I'm in the upper level, obviously. Now, All right, let me see. Huh. I like this, this is neat. Look at the shape of the wall here. Now let me see if I can get back here. Looks like the ground is pretty wet, so I might skip it. Ah, you know what? I got knee pads. I'll do it. Worst case scenario, I'll drown. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Well, I'm in the upper level, but you think about it, all the water in the lower level, it started at surface level, right? So it was above me, it was below me. But the thing is, as you can see, I'm off to the side of the main tube. I am not on top of the lower level right now. Look at this. Look down here. <laughs> it's like a hole down there. Look at that. Plant roots. I'm so close to the surface now, there's plants. All right, well, that's fun. Now, let's see if I can get my knee pad to behave. Keep on going. Really cool cave. I'm not even kidding. <sighs> Oops. Oh. Now it is plausible there'll be bats up here. So if I do see a bat, I will have to leave or at least lower my light. It's late enough in the year they're probably not hibernating. I heard in the summer they sleep out in the trees. Unless it's really hot, then they sleep in the caves. But one, I don't know for sure if the bats around here have woken up from hibernation. Two, if it's raining this hard, can they still sleep outside? Seems they'd want to come in here and take shelter. But this cave is so wet, I don't know. It might be easier to sleep underneath a tree branch. Remember, they don't sleep on top like a bird. They sleep underneath. Uh, they're bats. They really do hang upside down. Kind of a genius, because then they can hang out pretty much anywhere out of reach of predators are being stepped on. Look how orange it is here. So pretty. This cave, this part's kind of a pain if you don't have knee pads, but it's so pretty. So get knee pads, problem solved. I don't remember how far back it goes. So I'm just gonna keep going until I hit a dead end. I thought I remember it branching out. I wasn't necessarily coming to this cave today. I was supposed to meet somebody else. My play date stood me up. I think we went to the wrong parking lot. Oh well. this another hole in the cave man they need to patch the holes oh wow look at this there's light coming through so that's actually a bridge natural bridge or tube within a tube it's really neat holy cow i think i found a dead end i'm kind of relieved it's a lot of work to crawl back here Let's see here i can't fit down there 
I could crawl up here a bit, but as you can see, the cave is like cross-sectioned. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna fit through there. I'm not even gonna try. All right. Well, time for me to turn around for for coffee. Right, laws and start singing a song from Monty Python. Something about bravely checking it out. There's that natural bridge or whatever you call it, as seen from the other side. That's pretty cool. I didn't point this out on the way in, but if you look at the floor here, see there's red rock and gray rock. It's like, it's just to the outside surface. It's the same route. Rock, for whatever reason, at the outside surface. It's very red in some places. Pretty cool. Red, like rust red, not blood red. There's different shades of red, you know. I'm too lazy to get a thesaurus and say, well, it's not crimson red, it's rust red. That'd be an interesting project, like make a list of all the different names for uh, colors. Even in other languages, if there isn't an adequate name in English. Obviously, a lot of the basics of languages, they're, you can directly translate words. Like, there might be a word for dog in almost every language. But sometimes a language, it has a word that another language just doesn't. You know, something specific to the area like maybe a cultural based food ethnic food or maybe a type of animal that only lives in that one area something like that i think that's why scientists use latin they could just give everything a latin name and lots of people in the world recognize the latin alphabet because it's similar to english and spanish italian I call them the sequels to that. I think there's a technical term for the sequel too. <laughs> I don't even remember. Don't really care. So I'm almost back to the main tube. Then I'm gonna go back to my car, take a break, drink lots of water. All this water in here makes me thirsty. I don't dare drink this water. Who knows how many elk have been peeing on it. Yeah, I didn't see any bats in this cave. I've seen bats in here in the summer, not the winter. It's a lot drier in the summer, obviously. Unless it rains. I want to show you this, this is cool. Look at that. It's like par 